adjusted to this hair. I feel like my haircut makes me look older, but it makes me look older than what I am. Like it put some years on me. Even the lady at the hairdresser said that. Like she said that she liked it, but then she said that. So that, that don't put 10 years on you, girl. So I'm like, you know how people, how, you know, black mamas are like, <laughs> there's no, no filter. Like they're gonna say exactly how they feel. And I feel like she is perfectly right. It didn't come out the way I expected. And then again, it could be a texture thing because this picture, like the girl and I have different textures of hair. Cruz hates my hair. Well, I was gonna say hate, but he doesn't like it. <laughs> and Quentin said, it's different. He said it's nice, but he said it's different. So I don't know what that means. This is what I use. Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer. It has SPF in it, it's like bomb. Again, I'm not really a skincare, a skincare girly, but I know what I don't wanna see. <laughs> and so I try to make sure I find products that are going to not let me see those things. <laughs> Obviously, I need some more of this. See to feel, I need some more of this, okay? <laughs> um, Cause I'm struggling here. Oh, there we are. I put this SPF on every day just to make sure that we don't get those sunspots. We don't want that. I don't know, like it's very grown woman <laughs> I don't know, I'm still on this haircut, y'all. Like, it's gonna bear with me. It's gonna take me some time to get used to my haircut. This is what we're working with, you guys. So, I mean, the hair is cut off now at this point. So, I mean, we just gotta move on. And when I say we, I mean me. I, I just really need to let it go. But it's hard when I have to look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, my hair is cut! Like, I love it. But, we're gonna get adjusted, so I try to put myself, make myself presentable. We're gonna go to like Target and Harvey Lobby and hopefully between those two places, I can find some type of inspiration as to what color scheme I wanna go with for Christmas this year. I know I've been off my game. I haven't been posting. I haven't been, I've been trying to get my life together so that I can get back into some type of flow because I was like really into a flow and now I'm like, not and so I'm trying to get back there and it's just taking a lot of time to do so so just bear with me and also I'm doing vlogmas so I'm just kind of like like am I gonna have what it takes am I gonna be able to do it with like you know I don't know we'll see how that goes yeah mm. so I've come to the conclusion that this haircut kind of makes me very mature which we, we both came to that and I think that that requires me to wear glasses because I think glasses kind of show like wisdom and like maturity and I think that I should walk you know rock some frames and we can get accustomed to we can get used to me wearing them with frames I think it looks better I don't know it's given on my end I don't know about yours but I think it's I think it works <laughs> Look at all of the colors. Talk about inspiration. Okay, so you got like the Dr. Seuss going thing over here. This is like, this is like when they have their best selection, you guys. We got the jewel tones going on, the emerald, the sapphire, blues. Never go wrong with blues. Reds. Oh, and they have pink. 
which you know they have that Barbie pink which I wanted more of like a blush I was thinking like a blush color of anything oh they have like the greens oh this is bomb this is bomb right here I like this I like this one I think that looks really good oh this is really inspiring here girl like talk about inspiration this is exactly why I wanted to come here because this just puts me in the Christmas spirit and Judah wants to get out he's only whining because he wants to get out of the, the basket so he can tear his people's house up that's the only reason he crying look though red let's see if they have some more on the next aisle do some gold and do like some pink and this is really the vibe like I think this is what I want to do this year um the blush look I think that that would be so cute like I love these these are so I love that um I love like texture things but then you have the circles and then you have the thing so then they have the really big ornaments too which is always a plus and they have butterflies what else bows it's been so long since I've seen like actual bows I don't know this is what I'm thinking I love this color this color scheme it also has gold so I was thinking like maybe some gold uh, trim like some gold accents with the with the pink this is so, like I love this. This is like so great. Yes! Oh, this is neat, Judah. Yeah, what you think? Yeah. That's cute. Christmas, I'll, I'll hunt Santa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, can you see the white? All right, so I'm thinking about going with this color. The only thing is that they have like a variety of Christmas ornaments for in this color. Like they have a variety. They just don't have any, they don't have any balls. Like they don't have a lot to choose from as far as I mean, they have these, and then they have these, and I don't want those. I don't like that. So it's kind of like, what would I do aside from these? Like, I just don't want to just do those. So it's making me think I'm going to go with that green over there instead of, I don't know. Again, this is just inspiration. This is like trying to get some type of inspo, but I don't think that that's going to work. This blush is not going to work for me. But they have a lot of red and green things. And green is just like my absolute fave. I love green so much. You can't go wrong with green and gold. Um, I don't know, maybe they have some more ornaments down here in the blush look. See, I'm looking for something like this where you get this whole container um, but in the blush and they don't have that they have a lot of assortments and varieties but they don't have that thing like that so I don't know I may have to look into something else and then I thought that those are blush but those are actually cold so yeah no we could work with and um, other things that I'm gonna have to probably you know I don't know but I am excited it's not really getting the full head but um I'm excited I am inspired I went into Hobby Lobby to figure out like what I wanted to do and so I found some things, some color schemes that would pop, would possibly work. 
And so I'm gonna like run them over and show them to Quentin and then I'll make my final decision after I talk to Quentin about it. But I do have to look and see what else Hobby Lobby has, which I didn't have an opportunity to do that because it's hard for me to, I'm still not adjusted to doing, like I remember when I had cruise, like I used to do any and everything with cruise. And it just seems so different now. Like now I just seem like I can't get anything done, especially like shopping related. I can't get any shopping or anything done with Judah, which is very weird to me because I recall being able to do more things and just having like more, I don't know. Like I just was kind of like more out, you know, busy and Judah with Cruz and I were always in the street and we were always doing something. And so now it just seems like I'm more of a homebody because I just, have anxiety about taking him out with me and, and doing things with him, um, being present because it's just hard. It's just harder. Um, I be trying to cut the sandwiches up so that he can feed himself, but he be doing the most with the least. So like, he just be doing the most. I end up having to feed him. Like, and that was, that kind of defeats the purpose. I don't be trying to feed you. I be trying to get you to feed yourself, but, um, yeah, I'm just um, trying to figure out. So I don't know. I'm kind of in between the purple and the blue, but then I'm, I like the green, but then I don't know. Like I couldn't find any blush balls to go with the blush and the pink scheme, which is what I originally, like I have two pictures saved in my phone to do like a blush, uh, uh, a rose gold type vibe. Um, yeah, I don't think it work, so. So we're having lunch and um, then probably once we finish lunch, I'm probably gonna take him outside and let him either ride on his scooter or ride on his bike for a little bit. And then my aim is to have him sleep at 12. So 12, 12.30, so he's up to 2.30. So that's the game. You're not going to outside. Cruz cannot wait until basketball season to wear these shoes. He wants to wear these Lamello shoes so bad that he came home from school and put them on. <laughs> like, it really ain't that deep, bro. It's not that deep. It's day 14 of weaning and we've eliminated daytime nursing. Judah's appetite has increased significantly. He's easily eating three meals and two snacks a day now that we're not nursing as much. Tonight's bedtime nurse will only be two minutes and I look forward to the ending and completing our breastfeeding journey this week. Getting outside in sunlight is important this time of year. It's dark when Q gets off, so I try to take the boys out during the week. Until next time.